Hi everybody, I'm Bob Kovacs, and this is a comparison test of four lavalier clip-on microphones that range from really inexpensive to very expensive. I'll be talking about each individual microphone very quickly. The least expensive one is made by Absom. Yes, it has two A's, A-A-B-S-O-M. I actually bought it for $13 but now it's going for $19 on Amazon. And it is an unpowered microphone that happens to work pretty nicely when plugged into my Panasonic GH5 camera that I'm using to shoot this right now. So that's the microphone I'm using right now is the Absom A1 clip-on microphone. Now I'm also going to be using in this test an Audio-Technica ATR3350IS. This is another low cost microphone. I got it for $35 from Amazon. And it is a wired microphone with a tiny battery pack that needs to be switched on and off when you use the microphone. It takes a little button battery, which is kind of annoying that you have to find and then keep handy batteries like that in case the battery runs out, which it will occasionally. But it's still a pretty good quality microphone and I, I mostly like it for the sort of work that I do. The next microphone is a mid-priced microphone. It's by Shure, which is a well-known brand that's been selling microphones for many decades. This is the Shure MVL. Now it's part of Shure's Motive line of products, and it's intended to work with a cell phone or a laptop. It has a four conductor connector that you plug into a cell phone and it records on a cell phone. I actually recorded it for the purpose of this test on my cell phone. Finally, the last microphone that I'll be showing and testing is the Sony ECM-88, which has a price of $469 on Amazon. And it is a pricey microphone that is popular in the film industry because it doesn't pick up mechanical noise very well when you th thread the wire through somebody's clothing, through the actor's clothing. So the clothes can rub on the wire and it doesn't pick up that sound like other microphones will. So for that reason, and also it's very small, really tiny, it's popular in the film industry. It is powered by this large battery compartment. It takes a single AA battery and it has an XLR connector. So of all these microphones, it's the only one that has a balanced output. Now, when I use the microphone, I actually ran the balanced output into my recorder, my external recorder, which is a Tascam DR40. That's what I used to record the ECM88. And I had the uh, Tascam DR40 set to record MP3 at a sample rate of 320 kilobits. So uh, it's a high quality MP3. The Tascam ATR3350 was run into a different Tascam external recorder, a DR05, and it was also set to record MP3 at 320 kilobits. And the, of course, I mentioned that the Absom microphone, the microphone I'm using right now, that's running directly into my camera, which is also recording as on a compressed audio format. The only microphone that records in an uncompressed format of the four that I'm showing is the Shure microphone, the Shure MVL, which is recorded in my cell phone using Shure's Motive app at 16-bit 48 kilohertz sampling. So that's uncompressed wave file sampling. Now let's go ahead and start the test, the comparison test. We'll be doing one microphone after the other, doing the same list of standardized sentences. So here we go with that. So here we go. These are called the Harvard Sentences. And if you Google Harvard Sentences, you'll find that they have several lists of sentences. This is list number nine. The Navy attacked the big task force. See the cat glaring at the scared mouse. There are more than two factors here. The hat brim was wide and too droopy. The lawyer tried to lose his case. The grass curled around the fence post. Cut the pie into large parts. Men strive, but seldom get rich. Always close the barn door tight. Actually, you should say, always close the barn door tightly, but that's what this says, always close the barn door tight. And finally, he lay prone and hardly moved a limb. Now, I tried to move around as I read those, so I wasn't favoring one microphone or another. You might have also heard the paper rustling a little bit, and there was just a little bit of wind, so there might have been a little bit of wind noise. So that's an example of the Harvard sentences read across these four microphones. List nine, 
of the Harvard sentences. Number one, the Navy attacked the big task force. See the cat glaring at the scared mouse. There are more than two factors here. The hat brim was wide and too droopy. The lawyer tried to lose his case. The grass curled around the fence post. Cut the pie into large parts. Men strive, but seldom get rich. Always close the barn door tight, or tightly. He lay prone and hardly moved a limb. Here is Harvard sentences number nine, indoor test. The Navy attacked the big task force. See the cat glaring at the scared mouse. There are more than two factors here. The hat brim was wide and too droopy. The lawyer tried to lose his case. The grass curled around the fence post. Cut the pie into large parts. Men strive but seldom get rich. Always close the barn door tight. He lay prone but hardly moved a limb. Harvard Sentences, List 9, Indoor Version. The Navy attacked the big task force. See the cat glaring at the scared mouse. There are more than two factors here. The hat brim was wide and too droopy. The lawyer tried to lose his case. The grass curled around the fence post. Cut the pie into large parts. Men strive but seldom get rich. Always close the barn door tight. He lay prone and hardly moved a limb. Well, there was a couple of surprising things in there. First of all, the Absom and the Audio-Technica microphones, to me, they sounded pretty similar, although the Audio-Technica microphone sounded smoother to me. And this is something that I sort of migrated to over the years. I've been using these Audio-Technica microphones for, for probably 10 years. When I wear, wear them out, I get more of the same thing. And I guess it's because they have a nice, pleasant, crisp sound with good body. You get some good bass in it as well. It makes the voice sound natural. I thought they sounded natural on both the male and the female voice. And then there is the Shure microphone. Now the Shure microphone, I wasn't really aware of this. I've used the microphone a few times, but it didn't really sink in that it's got some sort of sound canceling going on in there, some, some noise canceling. Obviously, it is really suppressing the background noise. And when it does that, it sounds a little mechanical, a little, you know, not quite completely natural sort of sound. But it's a terrific microphone if you're working in areas where there's a lot of background noise, because it obviously did a great job at suppressing the background noise. And that was true both indoors and out, but especially outdoors. All of the microphones outside, there was just a little bit of breeze, but you could hear the wind noise in those microphones, except for the Shure microphone, which was quiet, except when there was a voice actually hitting the microphone. Finally is the Sony mic. The Sony mic maybe doesn't quite have the sizzle that the two low-cost microphones have, but it's got maybe a fuller body sound. I'm not exactly sure how else to, to describe it. It probably is a more natural frequency response, and it does sound quite nice. I've used it off and on uh, the, my past couple of dozen videos because it's kind of handy to have and it's really small and unobtrusive. So it's a good microphone too, but obviously it costs head and shoulders above the others. So anyway, this was a comparison of four microphones from low cost to high cost outdoors and indoors where we know microphones can sound very different with a male voice and with a female voice. So I'm not exactly sure how else I can possibly compare all of these microphones. Hey everybody, I'm Bob Kovacs. Thanks for watching.